With a new social media platform popping up everywhere you look, it seems like everyone's life is online now. From sharing photos to big life events and even vacation spots, it feels like everything people do nowadays goes on the web. Social media is new and exciting, but there's certainly risks that come with everyone's information being seemingly so accessible. A lot of people, especially younger generations, spend a lot of their free time on their phones and most of that is through social media. Uh, I've read reports people are touching their phones thousands of times a day, checking them hundreds of times a day, and it's mostly due to social media. When it comes to children and their phones, a lot of parents have the choice to implement screen time limits on their child's phone. There are also apps kids can download to make it look like they're using another app for a period of time, something parents should watch for. They should also have open communication with their kids about their social media usage. Try to get your kids to be honest with you about who they're talking to and if they have to restrict their access to social media. With all the information so easily accessible on the internet and social media, there's a greater possibility for misinformation to be spread. Taking a little time and doing some research can help stop it from becoming harmful. Before they believe what they see or hear or read, do a little bit of fact checking, do a little bit of research, even five to ten minutes can, uh, can make a big difference and get some better information. While social media has its dangers and risks, there are elements of it that aren't all bad. When someone has a tragedy and people set up uh, what, like GoFundMe pages, I think that's a great thing. People put it out on the media. Uh, I know us as the state police, I think, have done it before. I've seen sheriff's departments do it where they put out information when they're looking for a suspect. Trooper Kanath says also to make sure not to share any vital personal information on the internet like addresses or phone numbers.